In this video, I'm going to show you how to create rolling text in Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects and you have a brand new composition created, we're first going to begin by creating a brand new null object. So we'll go up into layer, new, null object. Now a null object for those that don't know is essentially kind of like an adjustment layer, but for motion. So you're going to stick your text to the null object and then you'll adjust all of your position on the null object and it will affect all of the text. Essentially, we'll stick everything to the null and control the null to control the movement of the text. So talking about text, let's go ahead and create some text. So we'll press the T icon at the top of After Effects. This is the horizontal type tool. And we're just gonna type out our title. So we're gonna call this movie. Now, as you can see, that is in a calligraphy inspired font. But of course, if you go over to the right, and you find the character window, you can change the font to whatever you like. Now, if for some reason you can't find this character window, then all you have to do is go up into window and scroll down to character and make sure there is a tick next to character. If there is not, just tick that and it should appear on the right of After Effects. But once you've found that, you just want to go ahead and you can adjust all of the settings here. You can change the size of this, change the weight, center this up. It's completely up to you. But once you're happy with the look of that, you just want to turn on the proportional grid and we'll move this into the very center. Now I'm just gonna pull this up on the top part of the video. So now that you've got that title in position, you just want to go down into this window here, select movie credits, that is your first title. Use this pip whip tool here so it looks like a squiggle. And we're just going to drag that onto the null one, make sure the null one highlights and let go. So now essentially whatever we do to this null object is also going to affect that title. So from here, what we're gonna do is create our first line of text. So this is gonna be our first paragraph of text and this is gonna be the position. So we've got director, camera operator, editor, sound engineer, ETC. So we'll press the T icon here set anywhere on the video and we'll just start typing out roles. So we'll do director, camera, operator, DOP, editor, uh, sound engineer, we'll just call it sound for now, um, post, whatever else. We'll add all of our titles there and then we'll go up into the character window. We'll decrease the size of this and then we'll right align this. So press this button here. And then you just want to drag that towards the center line. So you want to sit this roughly on that center line. There you go. Now, like we did with the header title, you just want to link this to your null object. So we'll go onto here. We'll select that pit whip tool on this titles window and we'll drag that onto null one. So again, if we change the scale or position, everything is now affected. So now we are missing the names, we're missing the credits themselves. So what we're gonna do is we're going to copy this first paragraph on the left. So we'll select that, go Command C, Command V, or you can just copy and paste or Control C, Control V if you're on Windows. We'll press P on the keyboard to load position and we'll drag this over to the right. Now we want to go over into the character window and we're going to left align this. Then we can just pull the position back over to the left to meet this here. Now, of course, we've got director, director, camera operator, camera operator. So we need to change the names. So you can just go in and you can change the names. It's completely up to you. But again, with this, you want to make sure this is linked to your null one. So we're going to use the pit whip tool and drag that to your null one. So there you go. We have now officially got our title and we've got our credits here. So in order to create this scrolling effect, we want to go to the very beginning we're going to go into null one, select this drop down arrow to reveal transform, and then we'll select the transform drop down arrow to reveal anchor point, position, scale, rotation, and opacity. So to begin with, I'm just going to decrease the scale a touch to around there. Then we're just going to pull the position off screen. Now we'll create a brand new keyframe on position by selecting this stopwatch icon, and then we'll move roughly 10 seconds to the right. We'll pull the position up, and you basically want to make sure all of your credits are now off screen, but on the opposite side. So you want to take them up off screen. So they're going to go all the way up there. 
And if we play this back, you can see we've got scrolling movie credits. It really is that quick and that simple. Of course though, if that is a little bit too slow for you, then you just want to decrease the gap between these keyframes. So this is our start point. This is our end point. Decrease the gap and you're going to have much quicker credits. The same thing applies for if you wanted to slow this down, increase the gap, and that is going to increase the time it takes to get from the start point to the end point, and therefore going to be a slower movement. Now, if you've got an absolute world of names here, you've got 50 plus names and it's going to completely fill the screen, then what I would recommend doing is starting with the first few names. So as you can see, we've got here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six names. I do those, follow all of the steps that we've done so far. So you'd add the motion in the null object and then you'd scroll through to the point where it reveals a gap at the bottom. We can go onto the first line and we can just go, and then we can do the exact same thing on the other side. So we can just add all of our names in. Of course you do this properly. This is just me doing this for speed. And as that continues to wipe off screen, you can just catch up again, do another list of names here. And then what you do there is just scroll towards that last keyframe. So once you've added in all of the names that you're happy with, go to that last keyframe and you just update the position so that it now wipes off screen again. So now when we play this back, you'll see we've got this full list of names and credits now scrolling up at a comfortable pace that you're happy with. Of course though, if you wanted to add some breaks into that, you didn't just want a list of names, you wanted to add in some logos or something, then that's something you can do as well. So we'll just scroll towards the bottom. So around here where we can see a gap and we're just gonna drag in a logo. I'm gonna drag my logo and try and make sure this is a PNG because that's really going to help. We'll drag that onto the composition. We'll decrease the scale of this. And then same thing as before, we'll use that pit whip tool to drag that to the null object. And that is now going to follow that same movement. And of course you can add as many logos and images as you want. And you can also add new text layers. So you can do a logo, some more names and text, more logos, more names and text, and just keep repeating the process. Just make sure everything is stuck to that null object. So there you go. That is the basics of how to create scrolling credits right inside of Adobe After Effects. It's a simple process. It's just a little bit time consuming doing it this way, but it really is the most simple way. So thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate your support and I will see you on the next video. See you there.